Okay guys, working on a Volkswagen here, MK1, with the CIS uh, fuel injection system, guys. So, I just got this thing running, right? And the problem I'm having is, when I was accelerating, it was kind of bogging out, which tells me it's not getting enough fuel, right? So there is a little screw right here that you, you use a three millimeter Allen wrench, just like this, right? You put it in here. There's a whole process of how to do this. Um, and you can enrich the mixture or unrich the mixture, making it either leaner or richer, right? So I was trying to make it richer in order to make the car run better because it wasn't getting enough fuel, right? But in this specific video, my problem is that that bolt that adjusts it is completely seized up, guys. No matter what I do, I cannot turn it. So what I'm doing now in this video, guys, is I am removing this thing, and I'm gonna show you how to unseize that bolt in there, guys, so you can adjust your uh, mixture. Okay, let's get into this right away. Okay, so in order to uh, get that screw unseized, right, obviously I am taking this thing out. It needs to come out of the car. So I unscrewed all the gas lines, right? You wanna label everything. You wanna, you know, keep your bolts and your little washers. You don't wanna lose anything, right? Um, I'm just gonna label these now take a good picture of where they go back and I'm gonna take these off and then we're gonna take this thing right out. Okay guys, so just before I start to unseize that, uh, I'm just gonna kinda explain how this works really quick, right? So as the engine is sucking air, right? To uh, run, so the, the more you floor it, the more it sucks, right? This lifts up just by air, like, right? Lifts it up, the higher it lifts, the more fuel goes to the injectors, right? So first of all, uh, I feel like this is set a little bit too low, so you have to adjust it from this edge, from the top edge, see? Let me show you in the book really quick. Okay, so here it is, right? So it's gotta be centered, which ours is, right? You can't rub anywhere as it's going up and down. Like it's gotta have really, really smooth movement. So ours is centered. If it's not, you gotta loosen this screw and center this so it's the same all around. Uh, this book does not explain things very well. So if you have this book, don't feel stupid. The book does not explain things well at all. I actually just ordered a uh, Chilton repair manual. Hopefully that one explains things better. But anyways, I'm still waiting for that one. So anyways, see, this is the gap they're talking about. The way they word it, it's like really hard to understand from where, but anyway, so if you have um, 1985 and later model, the space needs to be 1.9 millimeters. But if you have a 77 to 1984, the space needs to be 0.5 millimeters. Uh, and they're talking about the space from the bottom of this, so right this edge here, right? So you lift it up, right? You get like a feeler gauge, you know, you pick out 1.9 millimeters, you stick it in there and then adjust that. The way you adjust that is there's like a spring, see right there, see that spring? And you would just bend that spring up or down. And then, then when this stops, it'll be at the right height. As you can see underneath here, see, you have good access to that spring. You can just literally bend it down or up. So ours, we're gonna bend it up a little bit and see there's like a little stopper right there. And that stopper hits that, see? Can you see that? So by moving the spring that way, it moves this, sorry for the focus there, down. Anyway, so that part's pretty simple. Now the problem is getting this bolt, the adjustment bolt, right? So the higher this goes, the more fuel you're getting. So by adjusting that, there's like another section on top of that. I hope I'm explaining that good. 
and it slightly lifts it up higher. So then as this goes up, right, you can make it so there's more fuel, less fuel. I don't know. Okay, enough about explaining about this. Okay, so I just got some WD-40 and I'm spraying wherever I can to try to get this bolt going, guys. Okay, guys, so now I got just a propane blowtorch. We're gonna make a very little flame because I don't wanna melt any of the plastics. Like, we're gonna try to focus this flame. See, just on that part there, we gotta get this thing hot because that's where that bolt goes into, guys. So I'm just gonna get in here with the torch like this with a very little flame. Can you see that? See, I'm just gonna heat it up for like a minute like that. I'm gonna do it off camera so I can see what I'm doing better. I'm trying to stay from all the plastics as much as I can. So yeah, that's what we gotta get heated up, guys, right there. Okay, see you in about two, three minutes once I get this hot. If I can't get this going, I'm converting this whole thing to a carburetor system. Honestly. Don't talk like that, it's gonna be done. All right, let's try Come on. Oh, look at that. Pop goes the weasel, I told you. You got it. Knew you would. Knew you would. Okay, so now we're gonna move it back and forth, back and forth. And we're gonna grease this thing up. But yeah, I got it. I am happy. Wow. Knew you would, buddy. I knew you would. So yeah, what you wanna do is you wanna go back and forth, back and forth. Each time going a little bit further, you wanna screw it all the way in, all the way out. Put WD-40 on it. I'm gonna even try to get like anises on it. So now I'll be able to adjust this thing, guys. See, so it's like, if you go like this, spinning it uh, counterclockwise, you get less fuel, see? So that would be the least amount of fuel. And then if you wanna have more fuel, you spin it clockwise, see? And it's gonna be like fractions of turns to, to increase it, but. So anyways, I'm gonna put anti-seize on that part, on the threads screw it in and out a few times so it so it's easy for the future and it never seizes up again so now what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to grab some brake cleaner i'm going to clean this whole thing super good i'm going to adjust that spring with the measurements that i gave you earlier so i have um yeah let me just put this down right so i have the right clearance right here I'm gonna put it all back in the car, start the car, and then I will have a video on how to like set the fuel to air ratio. Um, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Once that video is done, there will be a link in the description of this video to that video. Or what you can do guys is just follow this build every episode in a row. There is a playlist in this corner, every episode in a row. And there's the next episode right here, guys. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage. Let's get this thing on the road, everybody. Oh.